Hi, if you're new here, my name is Witchy Cupcake, and welcome to the Cupcake Coven. Mm -hmm. This is my partner, the Muffin Wizard. Nice to meet you all in person, finally. <laughs> and we are appropriately attired with cupcakes and stuff because we love cupcakes. We think they're cute. So. They're also delicious. <laughs> yeah. So today, we thought we would do a special cooking stream. It's our first cooking stream. Today, we're going to be making some traditional food from my country, Chile. Mm -hmm. And this food is called empanadas. Empanadas. Now, if I'm completely honest, he is more of a cook than I am. <laughs> I usually, um, like usually, for example, I wash like all the dishes and he cooks. It's kind of what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we sometimes change, but just because it works out better like that. So I am going to do some things here while he just does some things there. Oh, look, take a look at our, our kitchen. Move out of the way so they can see. Ta da! This is uh, our new apartment. The kitchen, although it is technically small, for us it is huge because yes. our last kitchen was half of this, right? I think that's been generous. Yeah. Um, the, the stove, oven thing was smaller. Was the fridge was smaller. One. Yeah. Um, the counter space, we had like no counter space. And the uh, cabinets were also like half, so we're really, really happy with, with this setup. And that is why I think, if possible, we will be doing more cooking streams, both on mine and your channel, right? Yes. Because cooking is fun. Also, Sometimes. Also, you're witchy cupcake, I'm muffin wizard. I yes. don't get why we're not cooking and baking more often. That is true. Love the aprons. Oh, thank you. Yes, we, we like cupcake aprons. This one is, honestly, it's like a little dress look. <laughs> there you go. And his yeah. his also has some frills in the on the bottom. It has frills, but the coolest thing is it has a pocket. Yeah, it does have a pocket. Mine actually has a pocket. And uh, we have no shame. We don't conform to gender norms here. So, <laughs> okay. I look pretty, and I'm yes, one hundred percent okay with that. You look right fabulous. Now. Yes. So we're making empanadas, which um, is a traditional Chilean food. Uh, today and yesterday was Chilean Independence Day. Mm -hmm. And for the Independence Day, we have a lot of parties. We're very patriotic there, so you have to like have your flag up, otherwise you, you have to pay a fee. Uh, really? All the houses have to have the Chilean flag out. It's, it's a law, because we are patriotic. That's intense. <laughs> <laughs> That's really intense. Yeah. I'm just imagining someone trying to pull that like it's July 4th in the US. And... Yeah. Yeah, there would be riots. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, That's people awesome. say they're very patriotic here too, don't they? Right? Sometimes they Sometimes, say it. yeah. Depends on the person. <laughs> and we have these really cool uh, parties. So this is like the main food uh, from that. And of course, this is kind of our own version. I mean, I guess you could say it's authentic because I'm from there. But like, <laughs> I don't have much experience cooking these. We've together kind of started cooking them and mm -hmm. just trying out things. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna do. Here it says the names of the things that we're cooking. The empanadas de queso are a fried pastry filled with melted cheese, right? Yes. And the empanadas de pino are a baked pastry filled with ground beef. Yes. And you can exchange them uh, in the sense that they could both be fried or both be baked, mm -hmm. but usually that's that's how they go, like, the cheese one is fried and the other one's baked. In the one that has cheese, it's just cheese. Mm -hmm. But in the one that has ground beef, it, it usually has, like, onions as well as a hard-boiled egg. Mm -hmm. And people usually put raisins and all, uh, raisin and olive. Yeah. Usually raisins and one olive. Mm -hmm. But I don't like raisins or olives, and you don't care for them either. I like olives. I can have olives in them, but I don't. Raisins are just sweet to me. Yeah. And yeah. it's such a savory, it's such a savory thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we're um, making those other things to put them together. Mm. Uh, Tangled said the empanadas, the pino sound really good. Yay! They are really, they, really They're delicious. really tasty. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're starving because it took us all day to set this up. <laughs> and uh, we're waiting so we can eat the <laughs> deliciousness, right? We don't want to get filled with other stuff. <laughs> raisins are the devil. <laughs> yeah, raisins, uh, I don't like them. It's not for me. I have to be in the mood. Like, Sometimes a raisin like is uh, a grape that's been murdered. 
right? <laughs> so say no to raisins. All right, let's get started. So why don't you grab for me the uh, onion, please? Yeah. Okay. He's dying. Okay. Let's change camera so you guys can see the counter. Ooh, magical. Ooh. Okay. Onion. I don't know if you guys knew. Oh, I think actually Jamie mentioned it. Um, that the onions were having like salmonella or whatever. So be careful with your onions. Yes. The only thing is that um, when you cook stuff, they they usually don't have salmonella anymore. So we are cooking these, so I think we're gonna be fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Start getting your egg stuff. Can you go to the um, notepad? I need to see. Notepad. My oh yeah. So he has a little uh, little recipe here for the eggs. It seems really simple to hard boil eggs. You know, you just stick them in water and you boil them, but they are not easy. And I have done a lot of research trying to find a hard boiled egg recipe that works. Yeah. So we go here. <laughs> this knife looks murderous as well. Not so much murder in today's stream. We're murdering grapes, we're murdering onions. Yeah. Okay. So I took off the two, like, things there. Now, I'm gonna cut this so I can peel off the thing better. I'm just taking off this outer layer because it's just easier to peel that way. By the way, I'm not like really good at cooking or anything, so I know the, the cooking channels are going to be gonna all come for you. shooketh to the core, but uh, we're just doing this for fun, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my onion. Now, I've heard that it is good when you uh, do this to wash your onion, just run it under water, uh, because it kind of takes the acidity out or whatever, so it makes you cry less when you dice it. Ashton said, Vix under the nose to stop onion tears. Oh, interesting. Never heard that. Mm -mm. Someone told me recently that you freeze it. Not like rock salt, but you put the onion in the freezer for like 15 minutes or something. And whatever like liquids, oils, and gases that would normally be released when you cut it, they all yeah. get kind of frozen. And so it doesn't... Interesting. Um, Tangle says, I've heard that chewing mint gum helps you to not cry. And Jamie says, as long as your food tastes good, it doesn't matter the correct way. Aw. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, apparently from from those two bits of advice, it's uh, kind of like the the minty, fresh smell that helps you. The counteracts a little bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hey, I'll wash this. Be right back. Do you want me to get started on the dry ingredients for the dough? Uh, no, Excuse you do the eggs first. Can right? I focus on the eggs? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So what are you gonna do? Right now I'm just waiting for the water to come, so I'm not really doing anything. Oh, well, did you get everything else out for that? Yep. Well, the only thing, part of the recipe is you do not get the eggs out of the fridge until the water is boiling. Oh, okay. So. Fun fact, um, because, you know, a lot of people think of South America based on uh, Mexico, which, by the way, I love my Mexican brothers and sisters, but the cultures are very different uh, from one country to another, as I was mentioning the other day. And um, so everyone thinks that like in South America we eat spicy, right? Well, at least the countries that I've been in, there's no spicy food, basically. <laughs> um, there might be like... I don't know. Is it enough? Or no, we can't make more. Yeah, you should um, make some extra so we can make deviled eggs for Jamie. Oh, <laughs> um, and so lots of people think that like tacos, burritos and stuff exist in certain places and at least growing up there were not any there. Because we lived in the US, my family actually took that kind of uh, food culture with us and we did make burritos at home, but it wasn't something that like you could find in restaurants there and stuff. Uh, right before I left Brazil, a Mexican restaurant had opened there at the mall, but before that, I had never, never seen one before. And in fact, one day I cooked a dinner for my friends, 
And, and it was burritos, and they had never eaten burritos before. That was in Brazil, so that's a fun fact there. Ooh, the eyes are starting to feel it. Jamie said deviled eggs. What I love, what I loved deviled eggs. Yeah. The other day you made a test devil egg, didn't you? Yeah. And it was pretty good. I added in like garlic and some other seasons, which I've never done before. I always make deviled eggs with just mayo because that's the way I was taught growing up. And we need to go like, away from the onion. <laughs> uh -huh. And yeah, I was just like, I want to try adding some stuff. And so I did, and it was delicious. Yeah. Ooh. That being said, in the north of Brazil, to, towards the north, I live more toward the south, they do have some spicy food, but it is not similar to Mexican food. It's that, that's food that I never tasted because I was in a different area, but yeah. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go wash up my... I'll be right back. You want me to do me right back? Um, no, you can, you can just do stuff in the meantime or okay. know, whatever you prefer. Okay. I was not planning to do anything like by myself, so I am not sure exactly what to say, but yes. Does anybody else have a good recipe for doing hard boiled eggs? Because I'm not even joking. It is one of the most frustrating things to sit there and get a whole batch of eggs out and you go and you crack it and you go and peel it and half the egg comes off with it and everything's ruined, every single one of them. The recipe that I actually have found that seems to work requires me to take four ice cube trays and actually fill them up, freeze them, and when I'm done with the, with the eggs, to put them in the sink, pour freezing cold water on them, and then dump the ice on top of them. I don't know, I guess that takes the egg and like, kind of forces it to pull away from the outer, the, from like the shell or something, I'm not sure. It's the only thing that I can do that makes it easy to... I don't know I feel them. What did you guys talk about? Well, we're talking about uh, best ways to cook and or peel eggs. Mm. I don't know, I gotta get away from this. I gotta go wash my eyes up. Oh, now no, he's gonna go wash his eyes. I didn't even cut any, I just stood over them for like 30 seconds. Yeah. Astrid said, boiled eggs, hmm, get the water to a boil, add a pinch of salt, then put the eggs in for five minutes. Turn off the heat, pull pan off heating element, and then dump the hot water and run cool water over the eggs until the eggs are cool. Then, when the egg is cool enough to touch, roll the eggs across the countertop to crack the shell. Rolling them, I hadn't tried that until recently, that really seems to help too. Yeah. yeah. What else do we have on, on traditional festivities? We have something called choripan, which is basically a sausage. How would you describe a sausage? Ooh, sorry, that's my kitchen timer. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, it tastes completely different from a German sausage or an Italian sausage. Uh-huh. I honestly don't know how to describe it. It's. D don't you say sometimes it's like a summer sausage? It could be almost like a summer sausage, yeah. yeah it's probably the closest thing I could think it is to like, yeah, yeah. kind of like a summer sausage. So basically you put it on the grill, like on the barbecue thing outside, and then you eat it like a hot dog, basically. You put it on a little bread with like ketchup, and you eat it, and that's pretty good. Sometimes people put this... Look out behind you. Oh, this thing inside. Um, that's like tomato with like onions, almost like a little, I don't know what to call it. Sorry, it's probably loud. <laughs> it's fine. Whisk. Whisk. Tell them what you're doing. So, right now I am making the empanada dough. You can take a look okay. at it here. Mm -hmm. So what did you put in there? So right now we have two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and one tablespoon of sugar. I'm about to whisk all of that together. Okay. And then start adding wetter ingredients. Sounds good. Nah! Timer is going off. Luckily that timer isn't for anything too pressing. Yeah. 
Let me uh, clean here real quick. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna be put a nice boop of olive oil. Some people think that's too much, some people think that's too little. I think it is 10 p.m. and I'm very hungry. That's what I think. Okay. Are we doing something on the counter right now? Yes. yes. So what we're gonna do now is we have all of our stuff whisked together. So this is all of our dry ingredients, and I've also folded in some vegetable shortening. Now, I took a water and milk mixture, and I've heated it to just about boiling, but not actually boiling. Mm -hmm. So, look out. Now what we do with this is we actually pour this directly into the... Uh, dry ingredients. Dry ingredients, yes. So. I'm gonna kind of go like this. Can I no. uh, stir this? Yeah, if you want. Hmm. But no, I think you can use like butter, margarine, shortening, lard. It's just the shortening is what came with the recipe, and it really, for me, it really has like a great taste to it. I think this is okay for now. What, what else should I be doing? Um, and once again, caramelize the onions. Right. Well, basically, we just need to leave them for a while, don't we? Yeah, because you add a little water. So, what else do we gotta do? All uh, right, now the main thing is oh, do you wanna peel the eggs? Uh, I'm not good at it, but I can try. So, last trip, do I have to bump the top and the bottom of the egg? Or the sides of the egg before I roll it. I'm not quite sure. Sides. Okay, so we're gonna bump it on the sides. Let's see. And we're gonna roll it. Okay. Seems to have worked. Tangled says, I bump the bottom and then roll the sides. Okay, we can try that as well. Asha said, I mean, I've done top and bottom before, but I found the sides works better for me. Funny how everyone does it differently. She said, yeah. Yeah, and you let the rest. Woo! This one's coming off. Yay! Very nice. Girl, look! Success! Okay, let's try now. Um, the bottom and roll the sides. Okay, let's see. Beautiful, yay! So are you really busy? Ooh. This one's working too. <gasps> Guys, look! It came off almost entirely. Oh, well, we're gonna have to start making the empanadas here too. So do you wanna clean up that area? Yes. Here? Okay, typically uh, for the Chilean empanadas, we use a specific kind of cheese that they have in Chile. And since we we couldn't find that here, we've been using this cheese right here. It's called El Mexicano, which means the Mexican, casero, homemade, queso fresco, which means fresh cheese. And so you can see it's kind of like this white, this white cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's really tasty. We've we've liked it for the empanadas, so. It's specifically a crumbly, melty cheese, which is what you need. <laughs> Asher said, queso fresco! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the cheese. As you guys can see. Let's go. Ta-da! Beautiful. 
Now, I remember from the other times we've made this that we cut it into like 16 pieces. Well, we're going to be doing eight, I think. Yeah. But um, it might be too much. It might explode with too much cheese. Do you think? I'm not sure. Because in the past we've done this and they end up like not having enough cheese inside. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I'll cut it into eight pieces? Yeah, eight pieces of this. Okay. Or you can cut them into 16. Cut them into 16. Oh, we'll yeah, yeah, because then we'll put two in each. So yeah. that way they melt easier. Yeah, they're not worrying at all. I hope this is somewhat satisfying to see. Into fourths. I guess now eighths. So this is kind of where I've gotten the onions too. It does not look that caramelized on camera. Yeah, but they're pretty transparent, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty transparent. Like you can see right through them. What do you guys think? Should I keep caramelizing? Just can it's we a, put it out for a pull? It's a good question. <laughs> Press the number one. Press the number you one if it's caramelized enough. I was going to say the opposite. Oh. <laughs> okay, but let's keep that. Number yeah, one, fine. if it's caramelized enough. Number two, if you would like us to go more. Maybe bring it closer to the camera. There you go. She said, I mean, you're not trying for French onion soup, so they're fine. <laughs> I think that's good. I think I'm going to go with what she says. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we're going for sixteenths here. I think any kind of like white melty cheese should work for this, right? Any kind of white melty cheese? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be mozzarella, some kind of like whole milk mozzarella is going to be best. But as long as it's a kind of a white, crumbly, melty cheese, you're probably going to be fine. Good. Tangle says she agrees with it's caramelized enough. Okay. Ta da! 16 pieces. So I'm going to put this, this cheese to the side for it. For now, because okay. again, we'll use it a little bit later. We'll put it over here on the microwave. Okay, so what are you doing? So now, look at that was like no, none at all. Now we're just going to uh, start uh, with our dough. I think you should maybe put the dough, put the stuff more toward this side. Why do we need this What's here? This just for the oil and stuff. Okay, so we're we keeping it here. Yeah. Okay, so what, what are you doing right now? So the dough has been sitting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it out and start cutting it into 16 pieces. Try keeping it in, in the camera so they can see yeah. Okay. So we've got our dough right here. Um, by the way, I don't know how to do stuff with uh, dough all that well. I've done things in the past that work, so if you're a person who bakes and you're like, Muffin wizard, you're doing it all wrong. Probably am. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Okay, you gonna hand me the roll thing? It's over there? Yeah. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Can you put it more toward this, this, this side? side? Yeah, just so they can see a little bit better. Ashford said, I don't bake except when my client makes me. Oh! <laughs> Tangle said, you know what? I doubt anyone is judging. <laughs> <laughs> and if they are, they need to chill. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, um, I know there are so many like professional cooking channels and stuff like that. That is not us. <laughs> no. But it's okay because um, I think, was it you, Tangled, that shared on Jamie's Discord saying, like, um, who was it? Let me open the Discord here. Okay. 
Yeah, Tangle said, be brave enough to suck at something new. Yes. I think that's really cool. <laughs> Read that comment out loud. Hey, Gordon Ramsay would be like, eh, you're not a pro, you don't claim to be, but here's a tip. <laughs> I would, with Gordon Ramsay, I both am terrified of him, but also would love to be taught by him. But there are certain people in this world where you hit that level of professionalism, where you hit that level of professionality. Yeah, that's a, that's a joke, professionality. Yeah, uh, but you hit that level, and it's just, you don't even really want to ask those people or talk to those people, because they've lived that and they've breathed that for so long that your question is probably <laughs> is probably so ridiculous to them that they don't even want to answer it, you know? <laughs> so that's one of those things where I'd love to pick Gordon Ramsay's brain, but at the same time, I just know it would not be fun for me. Yeah. So. I like Gordon Ramsay. Um, that's probably because I'm a very blunt person myself. <laughs> yes. But... I mean, the guy brings results. Like, yeah. sure, do I think you should go up to random people and scream at them and curse at them? No. Yeah. But usually it's like these people have signed up for the show and they've agreed to take its tips and they obviously know how it's dramatized for TV and stuff. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, I used to watch Kitchen Nightmares a lot. And oh boy. <laughs> That's yep. intense. I was going to tear. Okay. No, what about the cuts you made? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's because you can't cut the counter. I can't cut the counter, yeah. yeah. But we can always put it on something. It's fine. Yeah. As long as it's approximate. Yeah, as long as it's approximate, it'll be okay. But yeah. And I watched a little bit of Hell's Kitchen, but not like from the beginning all the way. Tangled said, the thing I like about him, though, is that he verbally slaughters people who claim to be professionals and clearly are not, you know. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. right? They claim to be professionals. They're selling their service and food to paying customers mm -hmm. who are eating like straight up food poisoning. And yeah. that's not okay. They should be up to standard, you know? Yeah. Ashford said, he's really good with children and he's had a chef, a chef that he didn't know had triggers. And when he found out, he backed off and talked with a man. Yeah, he's, that's the thing. He's not like always that. Like I said, it's kind of yeah. like he he puts up this personality for the show, but if someone, like a child, for example, is actually learning, you know, and things like that, he's a really cool guy, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to take these little chips of dough and kind of turn them into a ball. It's some hard work, but it's good for you, right? How is the meat and... Good. I just don't want it to get too dry. Yeah, you can probably turn it on to like Should low Should I put warm. some like seasoning on it? You probably put, I don't know, what goes into the seasoning usually? Just salt? Salt and pepper? Yeah, I'm always thinking the taco seasoning would be good. No, 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 I just put salt and pepper, honestly. Mm. Well, we've already done that, then. I think I've done a little, but you could, you could put a little more. I burn myself. Please don't burn yourself. Oh, that's really good. You gotta read that loud. Uh, I have a tip for next time. Make the dough into a log and try to cut the dough evenly from there. Yeah, that's true. Astrid, that is a fantastic tip. Thank you. Okay, guys. Guess what time it is. Right. It's time to start shaping the empanada. So what are we making first? Um, the, um, I don't know. <laughs> the cheese ones? Not quite sure. I might need to go put my bandana on. Should yeah, I? Yeah, go do that. Okay. Do you want to explain it to everyone? I feel like I need to sit down, so maybe you want to kind of bring the camera down, you know? Okay. Here comes the Muffin Wizard with his bandana. Ta-da! Hello. <laughs> because, um, <laughs> uh, sorry, no, no, I just put it here so we can sit. Well, do, you, I... do you need to sit? No? No, I don't need to okay. sit. Because at a certain point, uh, he sweats and we don't want that to get anywhere near the food, so, yeah. yeah. Do you want to do cheese or beef ones first? Um. I think the beef ones. Okay. Because they have to bake. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. good. So, should we turn that off? Yeah. So this is actually an empanada maker because empanadas are kind of like 
a turnover type dumpling, what we can actually do is we can actually put the filling inside here. Let me actually do that. Do you want to get a here? Get the cheese? No, because we're doing the the beef ones first. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna we probably need, need like a, a little spoon or something. Well, we right? also need we need a little spoon. We also need a plate. So yes. Did you hop up? Oh, the plates are here. <laughs> You're not gonna get to sit down. Oops, mm -hmm. I am not. Um. Just, we just need a spoon more. We just need to play like this, just tiny. Because you're just cutting up, cutting up one egg at a time. Oh, for the egg? Okay. Yeah, this is, that's all it is. It's just one egg at a time. Okay. Well, this one's cut up. <laughs> so. Let's put it somewhere that they can see it. Yeah. Oh. What did you use this one for? This one I used for the cheese. Yeah, go ahead, but... and, just, go ahead and just put that away. I've got a new knife for you. Yeah. Never cross contaminate, guys. Don't ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut this egg into like what fourths, maybe? Eighths? Yeah. So, like, in another one here, another cut here. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is actually our beef and onion mixture. Oh, show it close to the camera. Delicious. Yes. It's just a little bit seasoned uh, beef with the uh, caramelized onions we went over earlier. It's really, really yummy. Okay. Okay. Tangle said, making me hungry. Right. Oh, we're hungry. <laughs> We've tried to eat as little as possible today. Yeah. Uh, but everything took so much longer than we expected. Like we wanted to do this for lunch. Uh, <laughs> it's now. It is almost 11 p.m. No, Past wait. lunch. Wait. Yeah, almost 11 p.m. Yeah. Here, where we live, Mountain Standard Time. Okay. And then take that egg and just place chunks of it in here. Well, actually, cut it off. No, that, that'll be fine. Uh, Astrid said, looks a bit like sausage, but I've got the nightlight filter on my screen. Hold this, hold this, hold this. He almost said, past lunch. <laughs> And she said, oh, you're only an hour ahead of me. Yeah, we're only an hour. So not, not too much of a difference. Maybe we can only put half an egg in each of these. Well, yeah, usually it's it's not a whole egg, I think. Because yeah, it doesn't well, fit. Yeah, literally, this is only going to fit half of an egg. Yeah. Stop playing with your knife. Yeah. Okay. Go now, crazy. <clears throat> at this point, we would add the raisins or the olives, which we are skipping. Mm -hmm. And so instead what we do now is make sure that it is nicely stretched over everything. We take a little bit of water right here. Oh yeah, we need a little bit of water. Put so it, why water. don't you put the cup, cup here? Because I feel like a that's, bit of water and you just, that's better. Along the edges here. You wet the edges to make them uh, sticky. Yep, just wet the edges. I'm going to get the next egg. Yep. That means we're really only going to need two eggs? No, we're going to need four eggs. Yeah. And now what you do is... Should we have made double the dough? No, because we're going to have eight beef and eight cheese. Yeah, but we're sharing with my parents. That's fine. So if we That's get like... That's literally two each. Yeah, I guess so. I just wish we could have like eaten more of, of these for the for the days to come, you know? Yeah. Well, we can make more. But then once you put it in half, you just press down on it. Yeah. And once it's all put together, you pop it open. So and you have a perfect empanada. Now here's the thing, guys. I would recommend still going ahead and using a fork to seal it further. Yes. Do you think we should do that? Yes. So if you can put it here, oh, sorry, um, like around. A little bit of extra dough, maybe we can make a couple more. Maybe like around here or something, then I can do that. Yep. Can you show it up close as well? Because I want them oh, to yeah. see the little uh, ridges before I, I do it with a fork. So it that's what like it looks that. like when you make, when you make it. This is like one of the best ones we've looking ones we've ever made. Yeah, looks quite nice. 
Like usually when we make them, they don't look as nice. Looks this just is like awesome. the emoji. <laughs> yeah. Yay! But I delicious. Say, yes. See you extra. Okay. Give me a fork, please. Oh, you're in there. Really? Yep. Okay. 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 Fork. So what we're gonna do here, and I want to kind of get it more in the camera, maybe, maybe there. Yeah. See, I told you we should put this more this way. Yeah, we should have. Our hands are too dirty now. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I face it like that. We're gonna fold this over like this, and like fold them. And then after that, we're gonna go in with the fork okay. <laughs> and press it down on the edge. That way it is extra sealed. And let me tell you, I think it's too full, so it might still pop open. <laughs> if you're baking, then you can poke a hole in the top to let it steam up. Yes, actually, we're supposed to do like a few holes like that. Now let me show it to you guys now. So it's looking like this right now. Ready? Go ahead and put them in there. We're gonna need to do the egg wash. Yes. Well, one thing yes. at a time, yeah? Yes. So, okay, show them uh, what this paper thing is, right? Because that's interesting. Okay. So, this is another thing that we learned from the Great British Baking Show. This is wax paper. And, uh, yeah, I don't need to grease a pan now. Makes me super happy. Yeah. Also, our pans are kind of old. So the metal ones are a little bit rusty, and obviously we don't want any of that to get onto the food, so using yeah. that um, paper is, is really good to avoid that. So Astrid just said, um, also tip, can keep do um, sorry, keep dough balls from forming a faint dry crust by placing a damp paper towel over them until you're ready to roll them out. It's actually a really, really good thing because they are they are starting to form a dry crust. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm just afraid that the paper towel will get stuck to it though. I think it'll be okay. Trip down the chair. Here's a damp paper towel. Let's see if if that helps. Thank you, thank you guys. Damp not wet. <laughs> well, how do you dampen a paper towel? Without getting it wet, right? Let me let me let me know, Astrid. Take, <laughs> Tamil said, take, takes notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get it wet, then wring it out. Okay. Let me let me wring it out some more then. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, it, it definitely looks less wet wet, so that's that's good. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. So like that. And then crap. This is looks like a mouth saying hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Such a goofball. Okay. Well, you know what we've never tried? What? This is a new thing, guys. This is brand new. Like Let's cutting the edge? Yeah, just cutting no, the edge. No, because that edge helps me fold it over to do so that. So last time I cut, I, I cut this edge off. I cut this edge off right here. Did you want, so you want me to leave that on there? For the la the one that we just did? Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, here, here, watch. Let me cut this one off. Okay. This is why I'm. This is my thought process, guys. Like pie. Yeah, I've never thought of that before, but like that makes perfect sense. Well, where do you put the other dough from the other one? I rolled it into one of the smaller ones that needed it. Oh. Yeah. It's literally perfect. Okay. Okay, and then I ruined the perfection by using the fork. 
But Yay. it's just extra safe, you know? Yeah, it's, it's important to do it. Another one. Our progress is going well. Okay, so we have preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And she says she wants one. <laughs> Well, we'll send you one virtually. <laughs> so now we're going to make our egg wash. So we're just going to kind of beat this egg. Yep. Okay, we've got our egg wash. And that's just to like make them golden on the outside, right? Yep. Yes. Get our brush. Go ahead and bring them over. Ooh, let's make space for them. Yay! Now, it's time for the egg wash. That makes them more crispy, right? Yep. Makes them more crispy, more yummy, more everything. Nice. Why do we have to go and make the most complicated food? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, go ahead and put these in for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. The timer has been set for 20 minutes. Would you run and uh, I think you have to take the stuff out of the oven? Yes. Okay. Let's open the oven and see how it's looking. Okay. Sorry, I like I gotta I gotta do this fast. So I think it could stay a little more. A little more. Maybe like two minutes. Okay. Okay, we're leaving it in for two more minutes. Oh, up. Nice. And blow it out. Oh, what do you think? I told you I can't lift this up. Oh, sorry. That looks nice. Look how nice they look. Ooh. Those are literally perfect. I approve. Do you approve? We can almost uh, put in the last uh, batch of the baked ones, right? I'm going to start placing these yeah. over there. And again, here's just so you guys can see them. Oh, you can see like the egg in there. Here's another one. Oh, now we're doing egg. I'm trying to egg cheese. So we need to bring the cheese over. Oh, that was the last uh, that was baked the last one? beef one. Okay, so can you put it in the oven because it is heavy for me? Uh, bring the cheese over. I'll do this one and then I'll go put it in the oven. Yes, sir. Cool. Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Burr. Here we go. Oh, then we didn't need all this egg. It's okay. <laughs> we can sneak some egg into the cheese one. No. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. We have how much here? Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. So it's sixteen divided by nine. Well, we're going to put two in almost all of them, except for the last ones that we can put one and a half, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's put one and a half in this one. Okay. Cut this. Let's put... No, I'll cut it. No. Oh, you kind of need to crumble it, you right? You kind of need to crumble it, yeah. Okay, let me uh, do a half here for you. Okay. If we're not using this egg anymore, I'm going to remove it from here so we have more space. Okay. Do you want to do the egg wash? Yeah. Did you egg wash that? These other ones? Yeah. No, I did not. Okay. I can egg wash them. Um, just over here, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll just do it here. Okay, I think it's egg washed enough. Let's see. Yeah, come see. It's, uh, not his best. The first cheese one. Yay! Well, yep. if it's good, please put it in the oven for me, okay? Okay. Oh, you know what? The ones that are ready, I'll put them on the, uh, on the table. Okay. 
I guess we can we could start eating now. We should we shouldn't yet. We shouldn't yet. Although yeah. maybe we should. No, they actually we need to pull down a little bit. They did, yeah. Setting the timer for 22 minutes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. How do they look? Oh, they're nice. Oh, shoot, I can't do this. Okay. Let me, let me get both. Maybe yeah. both. Well, I think you can do it with both hands. Yeah. I'm very weak. Two more after this one. Uh, okay. Tangle, well, we're gonna eat this one. <laughs> eat it, uh, eat it. Because otherwise I'm gonna faint literally. So oh, let me hit it here so they can see. Almost almost there, yeah, almost there. Dun dun dun. Bum, 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 bum. That's okay. how it looks on the inside. Yay! Okay, I'll eat one half, then you can have the other one. Yes. Mm. How is it? Does it taste just like it? Slightly different? It's a little bit dry. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Well, it's because I don't know how they get it to be really like. I guess juicy, but at the yeah. same time, we use lean beef, and they might yeah. use like really greasy beef, and we don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my arms. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? What? You're looking at me. I want to see if you like it. Okay. She was staring at me. Come on. <laughs> okay. It's definitely drier than usual. Mm. But it's still pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We cooked this meat fully a while ago. Then we reheated it. Then we baked it. So it got too dry. It got too dry. See, but if we did everything today, then we, we'd already be dead by now. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of am. That's good though. Mm. Proofed. Guys, we're almost the there. The final empanada. We have made a mess of our kitchen. Yes, yeah. we have. Oh, it's just such a mess. So, right. oh my gosh, tomorrow I'm going to have to wash so many dishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Fry Daddy. Yes, it has a weird name. <laughs> it's upside down. It's fine. But like, show it uh, a little bit closer to the camera. But, <laughs> so there, what it has doing. like a little basket for frying. Got this little basket. Right here, you put this in. Like that. And then, to fry stuff, you just put in and go... It's really nice and it keeps everything... It's almost 1 a.m. for y'all. Yes, it is. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh, bad. It's okay, we, we can do this. So yeah, just because obviously like we have the computer stuff here on the camera, we, we can't be frying here. So we're gonna fry over there on the on the stove. So this is the first time we're gonna fry in peanut oil because I like the taste of it. We've just never done it before, so we're gonna give it a try. Should we take this and make a mini empanada with mozzarella in the middle? No. Aww. Seriously? No, don't this worry little it. thing? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's okay. <laughs> she said, do it. It'll be a nibble. <laughs> do it then. <laughs> We're doing it. Um, We need to set up like the basket with the paper towels for them to dry out and stuff. Yeah. I need. I told you to get another... What? Don't you have another uh, 
sleep after. Well, I can bring that one where we did the baby. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is going to be our test in Canada. This is the tiniest of tinies empanadas. Actually, Tangle, it's a good thing that you told us to do this one because it's actually really good to first do a test, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the fryer to see if it's like hot enough and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Is it love? <laughs> Uh it's a baby in banana. She's on like, bite size. She's like glad I could help. <laughs> Look at that. Comparison. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Here we go. I don't like. I don't think I've even seen gyoza this big. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> that is really cute. You can get paper towels. <clears throat> yes. Oh uh, yeah, that's also. Yeah. Plate, so that's where we're gonna place them. She said, the colander? Is that what that thing is called? Yes, yes. the colander. Yes, this is yes, yes. Are we ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was underwhelming. She said they make screen pot covers specifically for frying stuff. Oh, nice. Good to know. Is it doing anything? It is. Slow. Really? So it's it's still heating up. It's fine. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Seems like it's starting now. Yeah, the baby, the short baby. Okay, so let me change the camera here. Look! The baby one is done! Ooh. Obviously, before we eat these, we need to wait for them to cool down a little bit because uh, they would be way too hot. She said it's so cute. They smell so good. You know how sometimes when we fry, you get that really nasty smell? Yeah. I'm not kidding it, are you? No. That's a I really mean, good point. This is the peanut oil. Yeah. Did you, did you guys hear that? I think the peanut oil is making it so it doesn't have that really, really nasty frying smell. It's a lot better than other times that we've tried with like vegetable oil. Oh. Guys, we're doing the last one. Yay! Okay, we're done. Look how pretty they look! Yay! We did it, guys. We made it. Okay, fine. We did it. And now you can see them up a little bit closer. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Come help me, please. There we go. The final product. I was hoping to keep the kitchen a little bit cleaner as we were cooking, but yeah. I think that flew out the window around 12.30. <laughs> so, we have our fried empanadas frites de queso, and we have our baked empanadas de pino. 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 Yeah. So, Happy July Independence Day yesterday and the day before. Yeah, the day before. 
This took us so long that we missed independence. <laughs> it's fine. We battled and got our own independence from the kitchen. Yes. I, literally, guys, I'm not going to ignore me. somewhere with that. <laughs> ignore me, please. <laughs> Let's open one of the cheese ones up just so they can yes. see it, okay? Okay, grab a knife from down there. <laughs> Tangle was like, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's fine though. Okay. Oh, where's the baby? It's down there, bud. Oh, you'd have to turn them around. Just take one that looks nice. I got him, I got him, I found him, I found him, I found him. Yeah, well, we, we found the baby. <laughs> I'm going crazy, you're going crazy. You're? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Look okay, at that! Okay. Let's let's cut into it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Crunch crunch. Oh, it didn't melt that much. <laughs> Fail! Is <laughs> it we're all going crazy? Yes we are. Let's put the mic on. Let's see how well the, the what happens with the baby. The baby melted the way it's supposed to. Okay. So, see the melted cheese. Yeah. Don't tell me. That's how it's supposed to look. Wait, are you going to eat this? Yeah. I, I need to cool it down though. I, I don't want to die. That's fine. It's amazing. Yes. I don't care if it's not melted, I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to microwave this one. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Oh, I thought it was delicious, as always. Did they all not melt? Yeah, probably. I definitely think that... The peanut oil seems to take longer to heat up. Mm. I was gonna say, I think that the cheese ones taste better than the other ones, but they both taste pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, do it right or not at all. You have yes. no idea. This is my life. <laughs> but at least they look nice, right? I'm proud. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah. So for some reason it's not melting properly. And I guess that's okay. It's kind of disappointing, but eh. Cheese is cheese. That's we fine. could probably throw it in the oven. How is it? The flavor just kicked in. Yeah. Yes. In the past, our dough has been a little bit thick. I think this time we got the right thickness. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look there, the the dough is actually fairly um thin in the past it used to be really thick and like encased in bread but this time we actually got it fairly thin and crispy yeah 100 percent 100 percent i forgot so much of my sign language it's not funny approved this good. is so good yeah. i also wonder if we just leave them there like hot if it'll melt slowly. Yeah, it looks a little... We may have cut them open too quickly. Yeah. Yes? I have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. I've been through hell and back. <laughs> I want another one, but this is the trap mm -hmm. with empanadas, is you yeah. have to stop. You have to, or you will get sick. But the issue is they taste so good. Thank you so much for um, catching our stream today. Yep. Special thanks to Tangled for interacting with us this whole time. I know it's been a, a long while, but hopefully you had some fun. <laughs> we really appreciate it. This would have been... 
really boring. <laughs> really boring. Yeah. She's Your like, company really helped. Well, it was lovely. Oh, thank you. And thanks to the Muffin Wizard for appearing in our first stream together. Yep. You guys can uh, check out his channel if you want to. We enjoyed having everybody here. <laughs> uh, okay. Awesome. Walk down. That's, that's I don't even know how to end this anymore. I don't know either. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the Thank next you. one. Thank <laughs> you. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend and happy Chilean Independence Day and all that. Good night, Tango. Good night, everyone. Bye. See ya.